Hey guys, Chris from Provo Beast Audio Installation. Today we're doing a quick unboxing and demo of this Crux Solutions wiring harness adapter. This is for Honda vehicles for 2003 and up. And what this kit does is retain factory steering wheel controls as well as your antenna plug in addition to the standard wiring harness adapters for an aftermarket radio. In the event you want to pick one up for your install. Now, starting us off, it does fit these vehicles here um, from Accords to Ridgelands all the way down from 2003 all the way up to um, even a 2011 element, depending on um, the trim level here, this will fit. Now, just keep note that it says right here on the box, it does not support if you have the amplified system um, or if you have the flip down screens, rear seat entertainment, it won't keep those. Um, and if you also have the navigation system, this will not work for your vehicle. Now also down here, in case you're wondering what radios the steering wheel control portion um, works with, we have our radios here at the bottom as well. This video is sponsored by HiveFlex.com, your go-to place for great fitting shorts that are comfortable and don't suck. Pick yourself up a pair of Stretch Flex Hero Shorts and get 15% off at checkout with coupon code PROVOBEAST. So, we got our main brain box here. This is needed here. You'll notice on the back there's some dip switches. So be sure to read the instructions so you know which dip switches you have to turn on or keep off. This will help identify uh, with this unit what vehicle it's supposed to program to for your steering wheel controls. Don't lose that part. Now we have your main wiring harness here. Go ahead and get this pulled on out. Like I said, this kit's also nice because it does include your antenna adapter. Now this main wiring harness, this plugs right into the factory harness. Once you remove the factory radio, you're left with the plug. That plugs right on in, which is super convenient. And then what it also provides is all of your coloring wiring. And what you're gonna use is your aftermarket harness that came with your radio. You're gonna start matching colors up. Most of them color for color. Now you also may notice there's a couple other things here, like this plug here. This allows you to go ahead and connect right into your, for your steering wheel controls, just like that. And then this end, depending on what type of radio you're installing, um, go ahead and read the instructions. But generally speaking, radios that have the WR input or the wired remote on the back, such as Pioneers and Sony's, they'll use this kind of plug. This plugs into, it kind of looks like an aux jack, but it's not, it's for steering wheel controls. Now, if you have like a Kenwood or JVC radio, you'll use this one instead and, and not the 3.5 millimeter because their steering wheel control cable is actually in their harness. They don't actually have a plug for it. So don't lose this. This is important for your steering wheel controls. Now, if you wonder which color does what, there's kind of a great diagram here for you. Now here on the back, this is also very important. Like I said, there's dip switches on your main brain harness there. This will tell you exactly what needs to be on and what needs to be off. So a dip switch five, six, seven, and eight, because we're indicating that it's a Honda, we need to put number five is off, on, on, off for our Honda. And then for the radio, one, two, three, and four, we're using a Pioneer. So we're gonna find Pioneer on this list, which is listed as number one here. See Pioneer here at the end. So dip switch one, two, three, and four is gonna go off, off, on, on. So one through four tells the module which radio you're using and dips five through eight tells the module which car this goes into. Now, if you want us to actually see this kit in action, we'll have a link down in the description. We're wiring this up to a Honda Odyssey um, and uh, we're looking to get everything reinstalled here fairly shortly. So check that link, it'll be down in the description and you can see how we will wire this up. If you also want general how-tos on wiring, we also have another very helpful wiring harness video on the channel. Thanks for watching, be sure to hit that like button, don't forget to subscribe, and we will see you in the next video.